What do you know about crazy parents? You'd probably turn to the movies first to see who's the craziest of them all. Think about the Royal Tenenbaums, for instance, a deadbeat father who abandons his three genius children, and then he returns years later in an attempt to reconnect with them. He even jumps in front of a taxi to fake his own death, all in an attempt to get his family's attention. Mommy Dearest is another great example of stark, raving mad. It's based on the real-life experiences of actress Joan Crawford's daughter, Christina. In the film, Crawford forces her daughter to eat rare steak for breakfast, and she has to scrub the bathroom with a toothbrush. So, only in the movies, right? They inevitably have the best examples of cray-cray parental units. Well, you couldn't be more wrong. Here are some real-life stories about crazy parents of pro athletes, and these put a whole new spin on being nuts. First up is John Fury's father, John Fury. He's a former professional boxer and the father of Tyson Fury and Tommy Fury and he's known for his controversial statements and behavior, both in and out of the ring. One of John Fury's most infamous statements was his threat to disown his son John Fury if he lost a fight. In an interview with Box Nation in 2014, John Fury said, if he loses, he loses the Fury name. He's no longer a Fury. Simple as that. This statement caused a lot of outrage in the boxing community. John Fury has also made other controversial statements over the years. In an interview in 2013, he criticized the fact that his son, Tyson Fury, was allowed to box despite suffering from depression. Being on the verge of suicide and being as low as any man can go to being on the biggest stage in the world with the world watching. If that ain't a miracle and a turnaround and a, and a true show that anybody can come back from anything, then I don't know what is. In addition to his comments about his sons, John Fury has also been involved in several altercations outside of the ring. In 2011, he was jailed for 11 years for gouging out a man's eye during a fight. He was released from prison in 2015 after serving four years of his sentence. Manny Pacquiao's father, Rosalio, has been involved in many controversies over the years. This includes several incidents of violent behavior. One of the most shocking incidents involving Rosalio Pacquiao occurred in 2004. He reportedly stabbed a man during an altercation in General Santos City in the Philippines. According to reports, Rosalio Pacquiao got into an argument with the man. Then he pulled out a knife and stabbed him multiple times. The victim was rushed to the hospital and survived the attack. Rosalio Pacquiao was arrested and charged with attempted murder. This was not the only violent incident involving Rosalio. In 2003, he was accused of choking a neighbor after an argument over a dog. The neighbor claimed that Rosalio Pacquiao had come to his house looking for his own dog. When the neighbor told him that he hadn't seen the dog, Rosalio Pacquiao became angry. He attacked the neighbor and choked him until he passed out. In addition to his violent behavior toward people, Rosalio Pacquiao has been accused of engaging in disturbing acts toward animals. In 2010, he made headlines after he was filmed eating a raw dog. You can't make this stuff up. The video quickly went viral. It showed Rosalio Pacquiao cutting up and eating a dog that had been reportedly killed in a traffic accident. Many Many people were outraged by the video. Animal rights activists called for Rosalio Pacquiao to be prosecuted. These controversies have put Manny Pacquiao in a difficult position. He's had to distance himself from his father's actions while still acknowledging his importance in his life. In a 2019 interview with the Philippine Daily Inquirer, Manny Pacquiao said, I love my father, but I cannot approve of his action. I have to stand for what is right, and violence is never the answer. Sean O'Hare is a professional golfer who has had a successful career on the PGA Tour. However, his rise to the top has been marred by controversies surrounding his father, Mark O'Hare. Mark has been accused of pushing his son too hard and exploiting his success for financial gain. One of the most controversial aspects of Mark O'Hare's involvement in his son's career was his extreme training regime. According to reports, Mark O'Hare would force Sean to practice for hours on end. Even when he was exhausted or injured, he would also subject Sean to grueling physical workouts. This included running up hills with a weighted back. Backpack. Mark O'Hare was also accused of exploiting his son's success for financial gain. In 2007, Sean O'Hare signed a contract with his father guaranteeing him 10% of all future earnings. While this may seem like a reasonable arrangement for a family member to help manage a young athlete's finances, many people criticized the contract as exploitative, especially given Mark O'Hare's reportedly abusive behavior. These controversies have put a strain on Sean O'Hare's relationship with his father. He has spoken publicly about 
about the difficulties of growing up with a father who was so involved in his career. In a 2011 interview with Golf Digest, Sean O'Hare said, I love my father, but I don't always like him. We've had some issues and it's not always been easy, but we're working on it and I think we're in a good place now. LeBron James is one of the most celebrated basketball players of all time. Coming to the end of the third quarter, LeBron James has shot in history. But his father, Anthony McClellan, has been the subject of controversy over the years. Anthony McClellan was largely absent from LeBron's life. He was mainly raised by his mother, Gloria Jane, and she was involved in the biggest controversy of them all. One of the most shocking incidents involving Gloria James occurred in 2010. It was reported that she had slept with one of LeBron's teammates, Delonte West. The incident reportedly happened during the 2010 playoffs, when the Cleveland Cavaliers were playing the Boston Celtics. The rumor spread quickly and caused a major distraction for the team, ultimately leading to their defeat in the playoffs. While Anthony McClellan has not been involved in any major scandals like Gloria James, his absence from LeBron's life has been a source of speculation and controversy. In interviews, LeBron has talked about the difficulties of growing up without a father and how it motivated him to become a better parent to his own children. I am who I am today because he wasn't there, um, because I use it as motivation Everything that I've gained, um, he has a role in that. Steffi Graf is widely regarded as one of the greatest tennis players of all time, but her success on the court was often overshadowed by the controversy surrounding her father, Peter Graf. Peter Graf was instrumental in his daughter's career, but his controlling behavior and financial misdeeds would ultimately tarnish his legacy. One of the most controversial aspects of Peter Graf's involvement in Steffi's career was his control over her earnings. Peter Graf served as his daughter's coach and manager, and he was responsible for negotiating her contract contracts and endorsements. However, he was also accused of taking a large percentage of her earnings for himself. This left Steffi Graf with a fraction of what she had earned. In addition to his financial misdeeds, Peter Graf was also involved in a major tax fraud scandal. In 1995, he was convicted of failing to pay $7.3 million in taxes from Steffi's earnings. He was sentenced to three years and nine months in prison, and the scandal caused a major scandal in the tennis world. Despite these controversies, Steffi Graf continued to play at the highest level. She became one of the most successful tennis players of all time. Steffi retired in 1999 with 22 Grand Slam titles and numerous other accolades. While her father's actions may have tarnished her legacy to some extent, her talent and dedication to the sport will always be remembered. So, never again think that crazy only exists in the movies. It's all over pro sports, too. Catch you in the next video, folks.